All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yerushalayim coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. The name of this video is Judah is being roused up. The idols of Egypt, which are the celebrities, are talking about this truth. Alright? They're exposing this truth. Alright? And, you know, last last um, weekend on Sunday last, when we did the works on the highways and the byways, alright, you know, the spirit jumped on me to, to make that, that statement, you know. Because you know we know we know Esau with his with his um his devilish psyops, you know everything is a psyops for them, all right? They, they they basically they want to create a situation, all right? You know where 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 they want to make it seem as though Jake is Jake is really attacking them, so they could get on the attack, so they could come and destroy us, all right? They could come and with great wrath, all right? But when you but when in, if it's in deeper introspection, you know, and with the spirit working with you on a deeper level. You understand that hey, everything is of the Lord. The Lord is also using this situation to rouse up Judah. Alright? To rouse up, to expose this truth even more. And expose these devils and their wickedness. Alright? So I'm going to play the, just the clip. You know, on the highways and the byways. You know, where the spirit will jump on, man, and we'll get into it. Because I saw the, the, the elder, the elder brother from the main camp in New York, the elder Amawan Gabar, basically did a video the next day and said the same thing. All right, so it was confirmed in the spirit. All right, it was confirmed in the spirit. You know that the Lord is really using this to rouse up Judah. When why I see what he, you know, in, in fact he built up Kanye West, all right, and Kyrie Irving, all right, to the state where they were to have and create money, all right, for them to fulfill this purpose that they fulfill in today, all right. And that's the thing about his Lord, Lord control. He, he received and he received are his, all right. I mean, no man's goings are be Lord. Right, because who else make it rich and make it poor? Let's 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 get that precept before we go into this video. All right, let's bring that precept. Let's get First Samuel chapter two and verse seven. It says, "The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. So the Lord is the one who lifted them up, albeit on the left hand side. All right, so you know for them to do wickedness." All right, but now we know he's turning it around. He built them up, and he's gonna use the same devices, the same idols of Egypt now, to expose the prophets. Us doing this work even more and push it to a higher level. All right, because these celebrities didn't just learn this truth on their own. They learned from watching the videos of the prophets, the men of the Lord. All right, whether it be whether it be I Y C, whether it be uh, G M S, all right, which which we push the hundred percent truth through the spirit and power. Yeah, by Shimon All right, we push the hundred percent truth. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right, you know, in whatever camp they heard, you know, they heard the truth. All right, and this is why they're pushing it. And now the Lord, the Lord lifted them up. You know, as the Kanye West said in one of the interview, he said, he remember Tupac said in an interview that, you know, all you have to do is get your money right, and then you can ready for war. All right, <laughs> so, so it just shows you that yeah, that was the Lord made him say that. All right, and put that seed in Kanye West's head, you know. So we even they've been listening to the prophets, the men of the Lord pushing this word, and now their money reach up to a level where they have a serious platform. They could push this word. They could tell the truth. All right, you know, and and what is what all is all doing reflecting on the men of the Lord, which is the mouth of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, according to Amos three and seven. All right, so the Lord is doing this. Okay, in addition to this, um. Proverbs 20 and 24, what does it say? It says, uh, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? A man doesn't understand his way, his Lord. The Lord is the one who um, who does everything. All right? The Lord is the one, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, right? So, so the heart is the mind, the mind, right? As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So the Lord is one doing this. Plain precept upon precept, line upon line. Let's get one more. Let's get Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. It reads, O Lord, 
I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. So the Lord is the one who does it. The Lord is the one who put it, put it in their mind in Kanye West's mind and carry you free mind to do this, to come out and, and expose this and expose this. You know, they pro they're probably sick. He made them sick of the wicked rituals, right? You know, the wicked things, you know, which I even even mentioned, you know, you know, that they had to do to get that fame and celebrity status, you know, with these devils. Alright? So let's so let's go to um let's go back to the video on the highways and the byways. Alright, and I'll play some of this. Was his prayer to jump on me that kid that kid that's came in my mind you know you know the lord using them using them he'll use their own idols to confound them right the same devices against them uh i think believe they have a scripture like that too you know the only devices who are gonna fall back on them right and that those idols of egypt those celebrities that's a that's a that's a device against israel it's it's actually witchcraft because they use they use judah especially you know to the judah judah artists you know, to confound the world and to keep our people in a destroyed state of mind, right? You know, to keep us in jail, going to jail, to keep, to keep the woman, you know, with a feminist mind state, you know, and, and, and behaving like a harlot, all right? This is, this, is, this, is, this is what they do. So it's a device. It's actually a device. All right, let me, let me play some more, the brother. I think he, he talks about it being a psyop, which is, which is true, you know, but even deeper, you know, hey, the Lord is using them to rouse up Judah, all right? Let me play that over. All right, you know, so hey, we know they're not the prophets, they didn't we didn't come up with this truth. All right, they didn't they they just saw it, they saw it being pushed, you know, and now they 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 you know the Lord put it in their heart, you know, in the guilt in their heart for them to come out and say something. This is the Lord's doing. All right. Now let's let's get um in fact let me just play a clip from this um from this um the brother the brother's video. Let me see if I can get that video here. Alright, let's go here. The Elder Amon Gabar's video. It's like I, what I whatever I feel in my body and my heart, that's just what I am. Like just um growing up my uncle was a Hebrew Israelite. He passed away. I looked up to him a lot, you know what I'm saying? It just the, the the little bit I know about it, you know, so I just feel like that's our true religion, you know what I'm saying? Our people are Israelites, that's what I, I believe, you know what I'm saying? Just... My, my ancestors 
were Igbos from Nigeria. And the Igbos are called black Jews that black Jews that black Jews that black Jews that they're industrious, that they go after things, that they're hard working people. So all the way back in my DNA, we were self sufficient. Fat bastard. Alright? And he wouldn't even go and say that, you know, on his own platform, which is a huge platform. That's a small church he went in, this T D Jakes, T D Snakes. Alright? But the point is, you know, the, 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 hey, these, 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 these celebrities, these idols of Egypt have been coming out, you know, and that's the Lord's doing. I love the Israelite community, man. Um, I believe they do. Got a lot of dope insight, a lot of things that people that's not Israelites can learn from the Israelites. Um, they try to do a lot of study and a lot of research and not just with what's thrown in front of them. They try to go back as far as possible and try to do as much research as possible and that's what humans are supposed to do so um i fuck with the israelites heaven for sure but if you go back to the original way these scriptures were written like at the old testament and you look at the original way that the, the scripture was written um they wasn't calling the higher power the things they calling them now you know what i'm saying he had a name you know what i'm saying and the name that they used was Yahweh was your hour all right you know and that's something in, in this wicked land of babylon the great you know egypt spiritual egypt that's something they crucified our lord you know with you know his image his name all right they x'd him out as the elder said in the video here too and all they x'd him out right and that how they x'd him out by taking away his true identity of being a so-called black man of the tribe of judah all right and and it's his his his, 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 his true image as well as his name Calling, calling this JC, right, this devil, right, which is really Cesare Borgia, right, so in name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, Yah yeah, meaning He, Hawa meaning is or exists. And the name that they use for the Son of God was Yahweh Shah, so. Yahweh Shah, right, you know, the Son name, Yah yeah, mean He, Hawa Shah, mean Deliverer or Savior, all right, that's the true names, all right, let's continue here, and that, that's important, that's important, but these things were taken from us, we were robbed of these things. I'd be robbed of our defense because that name is a defense. You look in the real the original scriptures, then that's what you will find. But, um, um, yeah, I mean, people just got to do the research, man. And then the people that do do the research got to continue to spread information and document it so that the next generation and the next generation and future generations could just be in a better predicament. And that's what the Lord told us to do anyway, to teach our children. Alright? So yeah, this all we're saying is the truth. Well, let me see if I can. Yeah man, it's all these all these um these these artists. Alright? Let me play one more. Hear us speaking because they love this system. But we just want to share some light. He said, yo, I really don't. But for you, my brother. I'll do it, and I'm, I'm beyond on it, but when I was speaking to you, you you told me, yo, Joe, I'm I'm into, uh, I'm Jewish now, but how, how do you, break that down to me, G. Well, I ain't say Jewish, yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. I just said, I come to the realization, you know, saying some years back, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, you know. And how did he come to that realization? He saw the prophets, right? The men of the Lord. He heard it from the mouth of the Lord. All right? Which are the prophets. Who we call African Americans here in this country is, is the descendants of, of the biblical Hebrew Israelites. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know um, the boy in the can caught a lot of flack. For saying it, you know, because he's on a tremendous platform. Who's you know what I'm saying? Nick Cannon. Oh, Nick Cannon said that, and then, oh, that's what, that, that was the controversy? Yeah, 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 because he, because he, um, mentioned that the original Hebrew Israelites was people of color. Mm. You feel me? Mm. And so, and so, and so, but, it, but it's not just him saying that. You know, if you study, you go, you read certain history books, you, you start digging. You know what I'm saying? You, you gonna that's shallow one. All right, 
which which said you know you know which said which means a study to show yourself approved. Uh, this is the elder the elders video here. You can go and check it out. GMS Awakening one forty four. Ha ama one gaba. All right, you know. So, um, let's go to another video. It's gonna bring it out. Have a short short video, maybe just about five minutes, regarding um. Name of the video is um. Kyrie Irving demonized for telling uh, for telling Bible truth. All right, you know, and this is really what it was. You know, this is um Kyrie Irving's platform. You see he put up H to N, which is Hebrews to Negroes, right? As another group of Israelites. Alright. Let me just wind this back. Let's play it from here. So you can see, it says Kyrie Irving promotes anti, anti sem, shem, all right, sem, sem. Right. Joining us now is Rabbi Angela Bukdal. She's a senior rabbi at Central Synagogue right here in New York City. Rabbi Bukdal, we're very glad you're here. You know, I've There's so many things that you so you how these devils don't keep anything in the scriptures. What, what a woman doing being a rabbi? Scripture expressly says that a woman is supposed to keep silence in the churches. All right, that alone, you know, just from from the, the get go, before you say anything, you know, we know it's wrong. All right, go ahead. Let's heard go. you say what he just said at the end of the piece that this is so much bigger than Kanye that we really should take the spotlight off of Kanye, but he does have a big platform, right. so we have to say something, don't you think? Well. It is much bigger than Kanye, but let's start with the fact that Kanye is big. Mm -hmm. um, just to put a little perspective on it, um, he has. 30 million, over 30 million Twitter followers, which is more than double the population of all the Jews of the world. There are few, more than 15 million Jews in the world. All right, and that's, and that's what the Lord is doing. 13, over 13 million, he's rousing up Judah, he's opening up their eyes and exposing to the truth. This is what the Lord is doing, the Lord is using them to do. All right, and the reason why they're only filling 15 million of these devils, all right, is because the Lord's cut down their numbers. All right, let me see, then let's go. Let's get the book of Obadiah. Bring out some precepts here. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 1. It says, The vision of Obadiah does say at the Yahweh power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, from Yahweh, and an ambassador sent among the heathen, right? Gamal Abdel Nasser. He was the one, he was the former prime minister of Egypt, you know, who said, you know, we'll never have peace in the Middle East because the, 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 the Jews, you know, went away black and came back white. Right? So he, they knew that they're not the real people. Right? So let's continue. It says, Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Right? That's why they have so many fight, fights in the Middle East, which is against Holy Scriptures, because the Scripture says when we go back, when we real Israelites go back to that land, it will be peace. Alright? Verse 2 says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Right? Thou art greatly despised. And this is why the Lord made, Lord made the lead tribe, Amalek, small among the heathen. Right? Even among the other Edomites. Right, they are small, they're the smallest uh, uh, Edomite tribes. Right, and they lead, they're the lead tribe. Right, they were the first of the nations, Amalek. Right, the scripture tells you that in the Old Testament. Right, you know, but the Lord made them small. Right, and He made everybody to despise them. So they, 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 they come and say, you know, they, they, they despise because why? Because, because they, are the, they are the Israelites. And they, no, no, they're not despised because they despise because they're, they're wicked. Right, that's why they despise. Right. And because of their pride, right? Scripture talks about, you know, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Right? He's covered the faces of the judges thereof. Yeah, they, they're pretending to be us. Alright? You know? And the rest of the world mourning because of the wicked oppression. Alright? Verse 3 says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Right? The pride of the heart deceived them. They believe they, they have control of everything. You know, the media, um, all, um, radio stations, TV, Hollywood, all right, banks, all right, 
if this goes on and on, they own the 147 major corporations of the world, which is pretty much 90% of the business worldwide. All right? Whether it be insurance, we went, entertainment, we went everything. And they still can't have enough. All right, so let's go. The pride of thine heart had deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? All right? Thou exalt thyself as the eagle. That's why they use that symbol so often. And thou set thy nest among the stars, right? They, right, the satellites. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. If thieves came by night, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would, would they not have stolen till they had enough? Yeah, they, they usually do, right? But these devils, not like that. They want everything. Even though they have the whole world, they still want your soul. All right? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? All right? They, yeah, they would do that. And they, but they, these devils won't. And this is the Lord... This is the time when the Lord is allowing us to see who these devils for who they are. The son of perdition has been revealed, right? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Right? They sought up by spirit and power via Hawa Bashim Yahushai. Alright, Second Thessalonians 2. And um Yeah, let's let's go verse 3. Alright, it says, um, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Except they come a falling away first, which we fell away. All right, we went into, into captivity, hard bondage, bitter bondage, all right, under these devils. Right? And it says, And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right? He's been revealed. All right? Right now he's been revealed. Okay? He's been revealed because he's the one, he, for all the wickedness that he did, he's been revealed. Let's get a precept for that. Let's get Jeremiah. <clears throat> Jeremiah 50, verse 31. Alright, it says, Behold, I am against thee, O most proud, say at the Yahweh power of hosts. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. And this is the time. Alright. You know, uh 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 second Ezra 6 and 7 says what? Second Ezra 6. Come on. Man, this app playing up. Don't worry, that's the devil. Are we gonna get that? Don't worry. Let's start it over. Right, second Ezra six and verse seven. It says, Then answered I and said, What shall be a parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob, which is Israel, and Esau, which is Edomites, starting with the lead tribe of Esau, Edom, which is Amalek, the so called Ishes, the small hatters. Right, were born of him. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So this is the time that these devils, this kingdom is coming to an end. The time when the Lord is going to visit them. As they say in Jeremiah 50 and 31. Now verse 2 says, And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall rise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and shall devour all round about him. All right, you know, all around about him, and this, and this fire is what the same devil, Rabbi woman, you know, what she talk about, all right, because she talk about, you know, it, uh, um, it's having this, it's this fire that's been exposed. Yeah, this is the fire. This is fire, you know, it's, it's kindling a fire around, you know, the fire is going to talk about the missiles eventually, all right, but the fire starts before the missiles, right, and, and him being exposed, you know, by the spirit of the Lord mouth. The Lord mouth, the Lord word is fire, all right, it's fire. Verse 33 says, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah, who were pressed together, where they were pressed together in Babylon, the great America, all right, and in the Caribbean and other parts, right? And all that took them captives, held them fast, they refused to let them go. And because of that sin, they're going to pay. They're going to pay, best believe it. All right, and the Lord is using these celebrities to expose them, to start that process. Let's continue in this video here. 15 million Jews in the world. I don't think so people realize that. I don't that. think people understand yeah. what a small community we are globally. Mm -hmm. And um, and yet, so one man having a platform that is twice as big as if every Jewish person in the world tried to reach someone, it still is not as big as his platform. Mm -hmm. So I think that we have to not underestimate what one person's platform could be. Yeah, they created their own monster, which is going to help destroy them. 
But it's so much bigger than that because it's also it's not just about one person. Right. It's also not just about anti-Semitism against Jews. He's essentially activated an army of people who hate and are serial haters. And, and, and you know, evidence of that is just the clip we saw of the white supremacists. Um, mm-hmm. These are people who don't just hate Jews. They actually hate people of color, minorities, different. All right. They, they hate you for the same reason they despise you for the rest of your wickedness. All right. That's, that's why they, they despise you because of that. All right. And really and truly, the Lord hates you. According to Malachi 1 and 4. All right. Malachi 1 and 4 says what we as Edom says, we are impoverished, but will return and build the desolate places. Um, in fact, so like, yeah, let me read from up here. Malachi 1 and 2, I have loved you, said the Lord, yet we say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau. All right, the Lord hates you too, so, so hey, that's normal. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of wilderness. All right, we could go to Romans 9 and 13, says the same thing. All right, Romans 9 and 13 says the same thing. Huh? First John, First John 3. And verse, um, verse 12, it says what? It says, not as Cain who was of that wicked one. And this is the reason why the Lord hid them, they wicked. And slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his works were evil, and his brother's righteous. This is why these devils, you know, are hated by the Lord, because they're wicked. They, they held us fast, and they never let us go. Jeremiah 50 and 33. All right? You know, and the Lord, as a result, the Lord, the Lord, he, the Lord hates them. They, they cover up who we are. They never, they never told us who we are. When, when you go to Revelation 11, it says that they never suffer us, our, our dead bodies, to be put in graves. Okay? Let's continue. Difference. Looking for any reason. Exactly. To somebody. Something. Right. So this is, um, when we tolerate that kind of language, um, it might start with hatred or conspiracy theories of Jews, but it always extends. And it's a conspiracy fact. Okay? And yes, Hate is in, is in the Bible, all right? It's all over the Bible. To anyone who is of difference. I mean, uh, anti-Semitism is often called the world's oldest hatred. That's at right. least in recorded history. Yeah. Uh, where does it come from? Well, there are many roots. It's at least, you know, as, as long as there have been Jews, there has been hatred of Jews, unfortunately. Um, there has been, you know, the Christian church had a whole... Do- yeah, you, you, your, your devils hate us. Psalm 83, your enemies, you conspire to take away our heritage. All right. You know, and now when the pressure is coming on, that you created of your own self, you know, you can't take it. All right. Everything is anti-Sem. All right, everything. All right, it's not even Sem. It's Shem. All right. Or Sham in Hebrew, which means name. Right, there are eight Shemite nations, right? Not just, not just, even not even as Israel. It's Israel, Moab, Ammon, Edom, Elam, Ishmael, you know, Aram, Ashur. Eight, eight, it's eight Hebrew nations. You know, and this devil just took everything and confused it. Right? You know, he confused everything. Okay? Yeah, this, this devil, he confused everything, all right? He's the one who caused it, who's causing all this, all this, con- and this confusion now has been exposed, all right? This confusion that he did, this is um, Isaiah 25, verse 7, it says what? It says, and he, will, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. Yeah, the fact that they, that they said we were Africans, we were blacks, we were Latinos, we were Native Americans. Alright, we with this, we with that. Alright, let's keep on changing, right? But that's the covering cast over all people, right? That the that the Ammonites, you know, even these other nations, the heathens, the Ammonites and um the, the, the Japanese and the Moabites and the Chinese, they put different names on them. Alright? And the veil that is spread over all nations, the Lord said he would destroy it. And this is what is going on right now, you know, it's being destroyed. It's being destroyed. Alright? So now let's um let's see let's see let's see a true picture of what the what the ancient Israelites look look like you know the ancient Israelites look like this right, this is off the pyramids it's when we were in hard bondage in Egypt 
this is how we really look. All right, this is how the angel Israelites look. You know, and they did a lot of work, um, archaeological and cranial evidence that that we are the people. So everything's pointing towards you know, the, as the scriptures say, truth gonna spring out of the earth. All right, Psalms, Psalm um, eighty-five, I believe it's eighty-five, if I'm not mistaken, verse eleven says truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven and this is what this is the time that we in all right this is the times that we in let's continue this video here christian church had a whole doctrine that was that was very explicitly anti-semitic um and Throughout all the generations and ages, there have been ways that this has morphed and um, evolved. It's, it's very resilient, this hatred. It is very resilient. However, um, there are some like foundational principles that have kind of remained the same and just sort of have different permutations, yeah. uh, issues of you know, kind of bloodthirst, of Jewish greed, of conspiracy theory, uh, that Jews kind of control and run everything. So back in the... Which is the truth. They do. As I said earlier, they control the 147 major corporations of the world. You know, through the through their state street, through the black rocks, right? All these things, all these these different institutions that they set up to try to hide themselves. Right, but it's been failed right now, they've been exposed by the Heavenly Father and His Son. Day it was about banks, now it's about the media. So it, it morphs and changes, but it is but some principles of uh basically that the world's problems can be uh blamed on the Jews. And, and population that's that's the bottom yeah. line. Yeah, when the when the when the um, see scripture says, yeah, that's cool. When the wicked rule, let me see something here. Yeah, Proverbs twenty nine and two. Let's get that. Proverbs twenty nine verse two. It says. When the righteous and authority, the people rejoice. When the, when the wicked bear it rule, the people mourn. And that's what's going on. The whole earth is mourning. The whole earth is in mourning. Because of these devils' oppression. Population of just 15 million people. Yeah. Right. And I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, because one of those tropes or narratives is the control of Hollywood or media. Right. Or banks and money pulling st strings behind the scenes. For those who might not understand that, that are sitting at home saying, well... If you have power, what's what's the big deal about it? Why is that such a bad thing for those who don't understand that narrative? Because they don't want anybody to know they're the ones doing it. They're the devils, all right? First of all, it, it is um, very, it puts Jews in a terrible situation in a catch-22, as my, as my friend Yair Rosenblum said, that, um, you know, if we do nothing, uh, we let this go unchecked. If we actually say something and something happens, like Adidas drops him, <laughs> drops Ye, uh, then they say, look, see how I told Jews, you so. uh, look, it's look at how powerful the Jews are. They mm -hmm. can, they can drop and make Adidas lose $250 million. So it, it is a... Yeah, and that's what they do. They always do it. Very um, horrible situation. I will say, though, that um, I personally experienced this myself when there was a gunman who came um, from England and held a rabbi and four and three others hostage in a synagogue in Coleyville, Texas. Um, um, I received a phone call from the terrorist saying... What they really are, them, they, are these, they represent the synagogue of Satan, you know, Revelation 2 and 9, Revelation 3 and 9. You know, I'm speaking about Israelites first and foremost. However, they're speaking about these devils as well because they pretend to be us. All right. You Jews are influential and powerful, and I need you to get this prisoner out of federal prison. And I said, I don't have that power. Wow. He said, oh, of course you do. You run a large synagogue in New York. Mm. So that just is to tell you that, like, one man's uh, craziness. And she probably could have do it, too. Um, but it's not just one man. He has been of fed course. this in a system of, of anti-Semitic rhetoric. Um, if you want to think about why it's dangerous to say Jews have power and influence, think about a man who holds four people at gunpoint for 10 hours because he believes Jews have influence yeah, and power. Who has a power when so it's a life and you, death issue. When it people is. look at you, Rabbi Bookdahl, they think, well, that's not what I expect a rabbi to look like. That's right. I haven't, I've heard that before. So I, I would just say that I think one of the problems of anti-Semitism... First of all, as I said, she's a woman. Secondly, she ain't no rabbi. Today is... People she ain't no Israelite either. 
people really have no understanding of who the Jewish community is. Um, there is certainly in America misunderstanding that Jews have always just been white people, um, clearly not. And that's actually not been who the Jewish community has been historically over, you know, millennia. Yeah. And um, I, so I think that part of this is about educating. Yeah, and she's right, you know, because this, this is how true millennia, right, from inception, this is how we really look. All right, now through the scattering, what's being scattered through all over the world, we look like we, we look now like everybody else. Right, some of us look like so called East Indians, some of us look like Chinese, like Japanese, all right, you know, and so on and so forth. That part she's saying is true, but then you know, these devils, they, they, they come from Esau Edom, so called white man, they're seed lineage, all right. Our seed lineage, even though it be scattered, you know, among in, into women of the other nations and we begin to look like the people, right? It's still the seed of Israel. But them, them on the other hand, is the seed of the devil, Esau, Edom, all right? I, so I think that part of this is about educating ourselves about who we are, but, but part of this is also about um, just rhetoric that wants to um, put Jews into a particular box. Did it bother you that companies seem to take a, a, a long, uh, they took several weeks to decide that they're going to disengage from him. Does that send a message to you? Yeah, I think the people are kind of weighing their bottom line, and um, and I think that it was disappointing that it took so long for, for people, but I really appreciate that ultimately um, people did the right thing. I'm not going to go into whether or not I... See, so they got, they got their way eventually. See that devil? I think the motivations for why they did it ultimately, I think a bottom line, if, you're, if your best asset is your brand and you allow your brand to be associated with a bigoted, hateful, you know, um, but, you know army of people, I think that... Bullshit. But if Kanye West said anything about him, he would leave back that life behind him. As the Lord said, you know, give away his riches and come on the highways and byways, you know, and, and you know, seek the ways of, do, obey the Lord, you wish I. That's what the Lord said, I told us to do. All right, not try to fight them in the own system. All right. That is your bottom line. But how do you shine a light on this without giving it a platform? You know, that, that's what I struggle with. I would you say ignore. shine a light yes. on or the anti-Semitism. Yes. Shine a light on the anti-Semitism. And don't sh And the Lord is shining. The Lord is the one shining light on these devils and exposing them that they're not the true people. The Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh is doing it. All right. So they could try to shine a light on, on, on anti-Sem, as they say. All right. Wherever they want. You know, but at the end of the day, it's the Lord doing it. The Lord is exposing them. All right? You can't, you can't fight with the Lord. All right? Find it on the anti-Semite. Because that actually gives more oxygen. So don't give Kanye um, yeah. more interviews. He just uses it as a platform to spew more hate. Yeah. And it gives him, it is the oxygen. And he's, and he's being, he's, he's, the Lord is using him on the platforms to tell Jake who they are. And to expose the devil for who they are. All right? These issues. Imagine that feeds that fire and, and all his and his army of, of yeah. followers. I think what you know and Lord said um there's gonna be fire. Lord said he came to set fire. As a matter of fact. Now let's get let's get Luke, book of Luke, chapter twelve, verse forty nine. Lord said, um, I am come to send fire on you. And what will I, if it already be kindled, yeah, it's kindled, all right? You know, it's kindled. The Lord said, talk, spoke about these devils as well, you know, um, Exodus 17, verse 16. The Lord said, he's going to have war with them from generation to generation, right? For he said, because the Yahweh had sworn that Yahweh will, ha will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. So the Lord going to be at war with them. This is the Lord war he's waging. How does the Lord wage his war? Who are the weapons of his war? Israel, right? Kanye West even is an Israelite. The Lord is using him as a weapon against them. A weapon that they use against us, right? Is now being used against them, right? Right, and the Lord promised, the Lord promised, um, you know, that, um, it's a Psalm, let me read this one, this one. It says Psalm 21 and 11, for they intended evil against thee. They imagine a mischievous device which going into the emote B, of course, but which is his, which is his C hip, right? But you know, this also going into the a lot of the other things, the music industry, all these things are devices, right? They imagine a mischievous device which they are not able to perform, they wouldn't be able to perform it in fully because why the elect is not going to be fooled, all right? 
Therefore shalt thou make them turn their back when they shall make ready their, their arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. And the Lord going to turn them back. Alright. And go even to Psalm 64. Psalm 64. Alright. Because even though they shoot. Alright. Psalm 64 and um, verse 7 it says, But the Heavenly Father shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. When the Lord going to strike them down, we know the ICBMs. Verse 8 says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So their own tongue, they only the mics exposing them. As well as the jakes that they set up to deceive us. Us jake, you know, in this kingdom, this wicked kingdom, this queendom. Alright. Let's finish off this, um, this video here. Alright of, of yeah. followers. I think what you do is you actually talk about the anti-Semitic rhetoric right. and you point it out and um, right. you condemn it, but but actually don't give so much attention to the person who's saying it. And That's offer really solutions. Important. Well, we're glad you're offer here. Offer solutions, to, thank you. We're that's glad you're here to give it. That, and that's why she wouldn't want them to focus on who's saying it because it's Kanye West. Yeah, you should focus on who's saying it. The Lord builds up his celebrity status for that reason. All right? You know what these devils, man, let's go through some precepts. Go through some precepts. Let's get um Micah 2 verse 1. And then you know the hmm. This is the Lord. The Lord said he Lord said he's gonna take care of these devils, right? Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds, right? And quiet in the in the secret chambers. Alright? When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand, right? Job 9 and 24. And they covet fields and take them by violence, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil, which you shall not remove the, your necks, neither shall you go haughtily, for this time is evil. So the Lord devising it against them right now. This is the Lord, Lord's doing. Now let's get the book of Psalms, Psalms 52. Verse 1, it says, um, A psalm of David, when Doeg the Edomite came and told Saul and said unto him, David is come to the house of Ahimelech. Alright, it says, Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of, of the heavenly Father endureth continually. Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor, working deceitfully, this is devils. Alright, thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue, right? these devils, Edomites. The heavenly Father shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living. And the righteous also shall see it and fear, and shall laugh at him. Lo, this is the man that made not Yahweh his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness right because you're shrinking yourself in your wickedness your time is up right your kingdom is finished okay your kingdom is finished all right you know because of your, your evil your evil doings all right Sirach 10 verse 8 because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another. This is a change of kingdoms. This is what's going on right now. Alright. So this is what's going on right now. The Lord is raising up. Let's get that. Zechariah 9. Start on verse 12. Yeah. The Lord is raising them up. The Lord is raising them up, raising us up, you know. Hey. This, this is not by chance. Alright? This is not by chance. It says, um, Zechariah 9, Zechariah 9 and, and 12, Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. The stronghold is the Abashim Yahushai. Even if we are prisoners of hope, we open in the Lord. Are you all going to come and save us, right? From this wicked oppression. Right? It says, Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. The Lord going to render double unto them. When I have bent Judah for me, right? Judah, so called blacks who came, up, who came across here on his, on his ships, you know. You know, who look like so-called black people, Negroes, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Alright. All of them came, went, went on ships, alright, at some point. 
But the tribe of Judah are the ones came across here on the carcass slave ships from West Africa. Alright, to America. You know, and even other parts. Okay? Uh, it says, um, it says, um, when I have bent Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim. Yeah, Ephraim, Ephraim is the head of the ten tribes. He's, he's the northern kingdom, and Judah is the head of the southern kingdom. Alright? And raised that so this rep this represents the whole tribe, the whole nation of Israel. And raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. Zion is the Israelites, Greece is the Edomites. And made thee as a sword of a mighty man. How we know that it's talking about the Edomites? You can go to Joel 3 and 6. It'll tell you about Greece, the Grecians. Right? You know, um, that's for edification. Let me do that. Let me go through that Joel 3, verse 6. Said the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, have you sold unto the Grecians, right? So they sold us unto the Grecians, which is why we're here in this land, right? That you might remove them far from their border, okay? And when you go to Amos, Amos um, 1 and verse 9, it tells you out, right, who the, who the Grecians are. It says, Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Tyrus and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom. Right? To who the Grecians. Okay? Because in, in, in the book of Joel it tells, it tells you that Tyrus, Tyre and Sidon, they were the ones who sold us to the to the Grecians. Right? And right here it's telling you Tyre, Tyrus. I say it's just Tyre. Right? They were the ones who sold us to the Edomites. The, the Grecians are the Edomites. Right? They took over Japheth lands. Right? And remember not the brotherly covenant. Okay? So this is what this, this is what these devils do. This is what these devils did. Alright? So all the tribes, you know, when they're hearing this, you know, a lot of them follow Kanye West and Kyrie Irving and these guys, you know, so they're gonna what? They're not gonna they're gonna start not caring about this devil. They're gonna realize that he's the one behind it all. You know? And as one of these devils said, you know, the minute they find out who we are and what we're doing, you know, our reign will be finished. Alright? Our reign will be finished. So this is the Lord doing. It is the Lord's doing, it's all spiritual. Why the idols of Egypt talking about Israel? Because, hey, is the Lord doing? We are the end. We in that time. Okay? We in that time. Alright? Now let's hit a couple more precepts and close this out. Alright, let's get, let's get the book of um, Genesis. Let's go back to Genesis. Chapter 49. Verse 8. It says what? Judah. Thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. And this is why Kanye West and Kyrie Irving, their hand is in the neck of the enemies too. All right? But it starts with the prophets, of course. All right? But now the Lord is rising up, rousing up Judah, right? Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. And this is why it's so powerful. It's, it all starts with Judah, the lead tribe, right? Judah is a lion's whelp, a young lion. From the prey, right? The prey is who Esau eat them. Uh, they really the pray, but the Lord turned it, turn it around. He, he trade places. He give, he put Esau above us. He was the lowest of men, the lowest class of men, the beast, basis of men. All right, he put them over us. All right, to show his power. All right, from the prayer, my son, thou art going up. Yeah, you know, why, why you will come, why you going up from, from the prayer? You know, a lion usually don't go up from the prayer, you know. He stooped down. He couched as a lion, right? You know, and as an old lion, so you know, you couch me for you like in they were in fear. Alright? You know, he saw us over us, right? The prayers over us. Right? Lord turn it around, as I said, you know, he couches as a lion and as an old lion. Who shall rouse him up? Who gonna rouse him up? Yahabashim Yahushai gonna rouse him up. This is the Lord rousing him up. Alright? This is the Lord rousing up Judah to come against these devils as read in Zechariah 9. Alright, from verse 12. You know, Lord is filling him, filling you, the bow of Judah with Ephraim. Alright, and it, which is all the other tribes of Israel too as well. Alright, and the scripture says expressly that when um, Israel wake up, if Israel wake up and go through their nations, you know, they're going to be torn in pieces. Micah 5 and verse 8 says, And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest, right? And as a young lion, which is what a lion's wealth, right? Among the flocks of sheep. You see how it matching back precept upon precept, right? So they like sheep to us. Why? 
you know, when Judah really raised up and the Israelites raised up, we numberless as the sand of the sea. We outnumber the, the heathen way over, even, even though they, 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 they have witchcraft against us, things like um, the, the abortions and all these things like that. You know, the majority of children being about that Jake's. All right? Even though that, you know, hey, we, you know, Jake like a lion, a young lion, a lion's whelp among the flocks of the sheep, who if he go through, will tread it down and tear it in pieces and none can deliver. Right? The people of Israel, uh, you know, it says, Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. In the NLT, it says, The people of Israel will stand up to their foes. Right? They're going to stand up. Right? The Lord is setting this up. And it is also too for a lot of the wicked jakes could be put to death too. You know, but at the end of the day, it's all the Lord's doing. Right? And all the enemies will be wiped out. Okay? All the enemies are going to be wiped out. So the Lord uses Israel as his weapons of war. Alright? And this is going to happen before the missiles come. This confusion is going to be breaking out. Alright? Which because we say is a sigh up, you know. You know, but, but also it's the work of the Lord. It's the Lord's will. Alright? To rouse up Judah. It says Jeremiah 51, verse 19. says what? The portion of Jacob is not like them. For he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. With those other nations, not that they're not the battle axe and the weapons of war. Alright. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Alright. So the Lord is going to use Jacob to do, to do all this. Right. He's rousing him up to do this. Right, help take the, uh, he's even, even the two thirds. Hell, the Lord is going to use them. They are his host too, as well. Alright? They are his host too now. So, right now, the Lord is in the, in the process of raising it up. You know, Revelation 11 and 11, going back to Ezekiel 37 chapter as well. It says, and after three days and a half, Right, which is from which is um, 350 years from 1619 to 1969 all right when um elder elder above you know as instrumental will come with bringing back the church truth all right after three days and a half the spirit of life from the heavenly father entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them they're going to be in a fear they're already in fear right now that's where they only born anti sem anti sem you know they, they they're afraid all right they're afraid Okay, Ezekiel 37, the dry bones getting back to life. All right, no, that the Israelite, and beyond that, you no, know, getting back the full understanding of this truth, which is really what it's about, not just no near Israelite. All right, you know, that's what it's about. All right, but the point is, even if it's a sigh up, you know, this is going to get out of hand, they're not going to be able to control it. How we know that? Let's go to 2nd Ezra chapter 16. Verse 17, it says what? Woe is me, woe is me, and who will deliver me in those days, right? These last days, Jacob Shovel, right? The beginning of sorrows. And how do you think Jacob Shovel is going to come about? Right, Lord has to stir up Jake too, to come against them. Alright. For them to come in with great wrath, right? It says, um, Revelation 12 and 12. Verse 18, it says, The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars, right? Race wars. Right, and the powers shall stand in fear. Why the powers gonna stand in fear? Because they're gonna get out of the control. These devils like they so confusion, and then bring in the control. Right, but it's gonna get out of the control. They're gonna stand in fear. When they see Jake rising up, as we read in Revelation 11 and 11, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Right. So pretty much, that's that's the video there. Right. You know, we're going to see Jake rousing up. There's a brother in the camp, the brother Kahan. You know, he had a dream a while back, a couple of years ago, that, you know, that Jacob, you know, began to rise up against, against, and rebel against Esau, you know. All right, you know, in the tribe of Judah. Okay, primary start with the tribe of Judah, right? And, you know, and they decided to go like if they wanted to win the fight. You know, and these devils ultimately came in with the, with the weaponry. But the point is, the Lord is turning up Judah for that purpose. All right, to fulfill his will prophecy all right so with that i pray this lesson was edifying i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham and kakodash 
double on us until the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Till next time, destruction unto Babylon and Barbara Ball and Shalom.